What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at the redesigned 2021 Maserati Levante. Huge shout out and thank you to Maserati Charlotte for providing this new Levante for today's video. Definitely check out the link to their website in the description below. They have a huge selection of all the brand new 2021 Maseratis, so definitely check them out. And the model that we're looking at today is an SQ4 model finished off in Bianco Alpi and has an MSRP at $101,000. Underneath the hood, this utilizes a 3-liter twin-turbocharged six-cylinder engine that cranks out 424 horsepower and 428 pound-feet of torque. The engine is paired to an 8-speed automatic transmission and sends the power to all four wheels. And with a curb weight around 4,600 pounds, this vehicle can achieve 0 to 60 in 5 seconds flat with a top speed at 164 miles an hour. And running off a 21.1-gallon fuel tank, you can expect 16 miles per gallon in the city and 22 out on the highway. The overall length is 197 inches with a wheelbase at 118.3. The width is 77.5 with a height at 66.1 inches. We also get a set of ventilated and drilled rotors up front measuring 15 inches. They feature a six piston brake caliper finished off with red and they have the Maserati script on them. There's ventilated disc brakes in the rear measuring 13 inches and we get floating calipers in the back. Taking a look at the front end of the 2021 Maserati Levante, this has an updated design from the previous years. You can see the large center grille with the Maserati logo. There's also vertical slots running throughout the grille, all finished off in gloss black. There's chrome trim on the top, and it gives it that really aggressive design. The grille also features active shutters to improve efficiency and cooling when needed. There's also a larger lower grille with black mesh, also features a gloss black chin spoiler for that added aggression, and there's large cutouts on each side of the bumper with more mesh to allow cooling to the intercoolers. You'll also notice six parking sensors up front with a set of LED fog lights, and then we get the LED headlights with LED daytime running lights, and you can see how the headlights protrude into the grille. The front end also flows seamless to the hood. You'll notice the Maserati logo right in the center, and then as you make your way to the side profile, the metallic white really bounces off the sunlight well. You can see the body colored fender arches and the traditional three vents on the front fenders. And this particular spec features a set of 21 inch wheels finished off in gloss black in all four corners wrapped in a Pirelli tire. This SUV has black mirror caps with the integrated LED turn signal, more black trim all around the windows, and then body colored door handles. There's a really sharp line going through the side profile of the vehicle, and then it wraps around the wheel arch in the rear, giving it those wide hips. There's another body line in the lower portion of these doors, and then finishing up for the side profile, we have a panoramic roof and black roof rails, and then your Maserati logo on the rear quarter panel. And then finishing it up in the rear, we have a body colored spoiler on the top of the lift gate with gloss black trim all around that, and this does house the third brake light. This has a new set of LED taillights finished off in red and have a smoked out housing in the lower portion. They flow really seamless to the side portion of the bumper with another sharp body line. And then there's four parking sensors within the rear bumper and black trim all around the diffuser. This also has quad exhaust tips finished off in more black. And then your SQ4 logo is on the left side with Maserati script right in the center, more chrome trim, and your backup camera. So there's a good look at the exterior of the updated 2021 Maserati Levante. I love the styling of this SUV. It just looks so sporty and yet so sophisticated all at once. So we had the really cool Maserati key fob with the logo on it, and it does feature a remote start. So if I lock the vehicle, I can double tap the engine start, and the V6 will roar to life. Has a nice little sound to it already, even just in the normal mode. Tapping the button, we can shut it off. Then all I have to do is go up to the door handle and grab it. It'll automatically unlock and we can check out this interior. This spec is finished off in Rosso Nero, which is a two-tone red and black interior. Beautiful design all around. If we go ahead and take a look at the door panel, you can see the red leather along the armrest with all black stitching and nice padding. And then you can see black leather on the lower and upper portion of the door panel. There's also gloss black trim and aluminum trim leading to the release handle. You have your memory seat buttons as well. And then lock and unlock, window controls and your mirror controls and a little bit of storage. And then as we flip our way inside, you can see the red along the seats. All of your power controls are on this left side and you get red and black stitching all along the seats. Really nice Nice design with smooth leather on the sides, perforated leather right in the center with more black stitching, a really nice design leading all the way up to the headrest, and you can see the Maserati logo embossed into the leather. 
And then flipping around to the steering wheel, it's finished off in black leather with perforated leather on the sides, smooth leather on the inside, and then we get some nice silver trim right in the center. And then now inside the Levante, keeping my foot on the brake, we can go ahead and fire it up. Along this gauge cluster, we have your speedometer over on the left and then the tack on the right side. We have information in the center for your fuel as well as the engine temperature and a digital speedometer. There's also more information on the LCD screen controlling it with these buttons right here. If I scroll down in this center menu right now, you can see more information. And then scrolling over, you can see information like your battery voltage as well as oil pressure and things like that. We also have your tire pressure your different driving modes shows up. And then taking a look at the actual steering wheel, of course we have the Maserati logo right in the center. We also have your cruise control settings over on the left with a downhill assist. And then on the right side, we have some Bluetooth and audio controls. On the back side of the steering wheel, we actually have controls for volume and track and seek. We also have a set of steering column mounted paddle shifters that have a really nice look and feel. They're finished off in aluminum and are really large. On this left side, we have your wiper blade control, and then you also have your turn signal stock. Really good look to everything. And then on the left side of the steering wheel, like you saw, we have your engine start stop button, and then all of your headlight controls. You can see a lot of the red leather wrapping around the dash. You have an air vent, and then you can see the black stitching going along this dash with the two-tone. Right in the center now, we have one of the other speakers as well as an analog clock with the Maserati logo, and then more of the red leather and contrast stitching going along the right side of the dash. And then new for 2021 is this beautiful LCD touchscreen display measuring at 8.4 inches. We have really nice HD graphics on it. Right now in the comfort setting, you can see all of your climate control very nice and easy how everything is working, very user friendly, beautiful crisp display. You have heated seats as well as the steering wheel and you can easily change all the different zones and more climate settings. We have a home button on this left side that has a nice configurable design. We have navigation on the left and audio and you can even full screen it which is a really cool touch. As you can see, it goes right into the shortcut going into your media. You also have phone connectivity. Then under the vehicle, you have a little bit more information. Rear view camera can pop up nice and HD. And then if you just tap the apps icon, there's a lot of different settings within this vehicle. You can scroll through it. Very user friendly. I like how easy and nice the touchscreen is. You can also add items to your favorites by just tapping the star. You can see how it comes up just like that. And then of course you can toggle different systems like this, which is really nice to see. We have physical climate control buttons with all of your toggles for your dual zone climate control, as well as the fan speed. You have different zones that come up on the bottom and if you tap any of these icons it comes up on the screen and just cycling through you can easily configure how you'd like everything to go very nice and easy a good update for 2021 and then below this you can see some of the red and black accents I can push this compartment down and it'll slide forward out of the way we have a lot of storage space in here as you can see you do get some USB ports as well as an auxiliary port and then by just pulling it forward, we can lock that back into place. Around the shifter now, you can see leather, the Maserati logo, and then some more black leather. Then we have your traction control on off-road mode, which will also raise the suspension all the way up. It's really cool with the different driving modes. You can also configure how high you would like the vehicle to sit. Below the off-road mode, we have a ice mode for inclement weather, your sport mode, which will also open up the active exhaust valve, and then a suspension mode to toggle how you would like it. Behind all that, we have the electronic parking brake, and then the toggle to adjust the ride height. And then in front of that, we have your hazard control and then two separate dials. The top one is for your volume. You have an on off for the radio and the bottom one is actually just scroll and tune for the radio system. And then on this right side, if we open this up, two cup holders appear with a 12 volt. We can close that up. And then right in the center, you can see more of the red leather and you have a button right up front to open up the armrest. This opens up and you have quite a lot of space in here actually with two more cup holders down below. And I do like how these are separate so you can have access to an armrest and still get into the center. And then moving our way to this right side now, we can open up the glove box, finished off with more of this black leather. We have a ton of space in here, as you can see, nice little shelf as well. And then closing that up, we can get one last look at the overall interior. 
I think for 2021, the Maserati Levante has a beautiful interior. I especially love the red leather, all the stitching and black accents. It's fit together really well. It definitely has a nice Italian design to it. And then moving our way up top, we have a micro suede headliner, which is extremely soft. You can see the full sunshade for this panoramic roof. And then up front now, we have all the controls for the sunshade and sunroof. And we have your LED dome lights and garage door openers. And then to now take a look at the rear seat space, we can go ahead and open up the door. You will also notice the Maserati is frameless around the doors. Really cool design. You can see the twin pane glass as well for added sound insulation. You can see the same black and red two-tone leather on the armrest. And then moving our way inside, we have the same seat design with all the smooth leather and perforated leather and the black stitching all around. You even do get Maserati embossed up top beautiful looking interior. I cannot get enough of the red. We have storage nets behind the front seats as well. And then moving our way into the center, we have your climate vents. And then up top, you can pop open this tab for two USB ports and a 12 volt. All right, so climbing into the back of the Maserati Levante, let's go ahead and close the door. So I am five foot 11 and I have the driver's seat set at my height. And as you can see, I actually have a few inches of knee room and my feet are fitting nicely. Sitting back here, you have a few inches of headroom, maybe like two up there. And this is actually very roomy and the seat has a lot of cushioning. It's really comfortable. The armrest is in a perfect place and you have a lot of glass around to make this feel nice and open. And if you have the sunroof opened up, that just allows so much more light in. And then even taking a look at the center now, we can pull this leather tab and pull down the armrest. We have two cup holders in it and a little bit of access to get into the cargo area, which is a cool touch, but definitely comfortable back here. And you have dome lights up top and grab handles. So onto the rear cargo space, there is a button on the key fob, one on the interior ceiling, or of course one right beneath the Maserati logo. You can press that button, automatically opens up, and you can get a really good understanding of the cargo space in the back of the Levante. Definitely very roomy in here, nice flat load floor. You can lift this panel up. We have a little bit of more storage space under here. And then this cover is removable. It's nice to be there for added security. And then with the seats folded down and that cover removed, you can see just how much storage space we have in the back. And then if we come inside to these side doors now, you can see the seats fold down nearly flat and they fit nicely in line with the load floor in the back and you still have room up in front of the seats. And then coming back to the rear end of the car, if you look on the left side, you have a button, you can press this and the lift gate will automatically close. All right guys, so we are now setting off in the 2021 Maserati Levante SQ4. I've actually never driven the Levante before. I've been on the Ghibli quite a bit. And uh, so we're here with Brian from Maserati Charlotte. He knows this thing way better than I do, I'm sure. <laughs> so he's gonna tell us a little bit more about it as we're driving. So 2021 is kind of a minor facelift. Yes, minor facelift on uh, the Maserati and uh, the Levante. Uh, this is the Levante S, four okay. and a quarter horsepower, 424, but yeah. not horsepower, right? <laughs> yeah, that's it's good enough. <laughs> It's wonderful what they've done with the mic, uh, the Maserati Connect interface mm -hmm. now. It's much, much better than it was before. If you know, if yeah. you've been an old Ghibli, yeah, the older Ghibli, yeah, the screen kind of just outdated, but this is like so crisp. It's so nice to see. What do you think about the handling? I mean, it's an SUV, but it's so I guess that means we should put in the manual in sport mode. So sport mode, the suspension's dropping, mm -hmm. uh, the exhaust valve opened up, mm -hmm. and wow, that already sounds way better. Yes, and then it's uh, manual mode, these shifters. I mean, an SUV with these shifters. It's just a work of art. It's so <laughs> cool. <laughs> wow, that exhaust. <laughs> but yeah, it, it, it handles and feels like a sports car, which is crazy. Because again, it's an SUV. I think it was like 5,000 pounds. Yes, they're heavy. And yet, I mean, I'm taking turn out 40, and that's like flat. Yeah, they're, they've done a <laughs> wonderful job with the suspension tuning in this. Yeah. I mean, it's really, it's a daily Maserati, right? Yeah, I mean, you can have, and there's plenty of room in the back, mm -hmm. which I'm surprised with this seat at my height sitting behind it was actually really comfortable yeah, they're, out there. They're, they're surprisingly roomy. All right, so I guess we'll test out some acceleration just to feel out the twin turbo. Wow. <laughs> it makes all the right noises. Yeah, and of course, I mean, new car, we're not like flooring it crazy, but that is of how solid it is too. Yes. Being like twin turbo, there's no turbo lag or anything. And the eight speed. I mean, just super quick. And, and it, it, it just, it sounds fantastic. It sounds like a Maserati. <laughs> yeah. Right? I think, and it's not crazy in here. I mean, we're carrying on a normal conversation. Yeah, that's one thing kind of cool because right now we're at 2200 RPM and it sounds quiet again. But as soon as I give it a little bit of gas, they open up. The exhaust opens up and you can hear it a little bit when you're a little bit more aggressive in it, a higher RPM downshift. Like the valve even opens up even more. 
That is super cool. That is definitely a cool thing. Now, as far as fit and finish, so we have beautiful leather, and you guys know I love red and tears. That's why I chose the Spectre film. Right. <laughs> but, I mean, the red leather everywhere, black leather everywhere, the micro suede on the ceiling. I mean, everything you touch is actually a really high-quality thing. The appointments, it's so Italian. Right? Yeah. It's like yeah. a fine Italian suit. But yeah. just the leather, and it's, and it sells great in here, too. Yeah. But then even sitting here, like getting comfortable, like these seats are comfortable, the headrest is actually kind of like a pillow. Mm -hmm. uh, Visibility is fantastic. Uh, it's a very low hunker down, kind of like a coupe-like SUV, that uh, you know, slope and rear end. But even looking at like the C pillar and stuff, I think because the rear glass is actually so close to the side, mm -hmm. you actually can see out really well. E yes, there's other cars that I've been, even sedans that yeah. don't have, you know, very good rear vision. Yeah, which is nice because a lot of cars you compromise, you either get um, better visibility mm -hmm. and, or you get the better look. But this, I think you do get both because I don't have any issue with that. It's proportioned well too from the outside. Yeah. That's not too big, it's not too small. And then as far as driving now, so we're going about 50 miles an hour. It's really comfortable, quiet. I noticed uh, with the pillarless doors, the glass is actually dual paint. Mm -hmm. So it has added sound insulation. It definitely is quiet. I mean, we can barely even raise our voices at top. Right, right. So you can actually uh, daily drive this all day, commute like crazy, and have no issues with being annoyed. So do a lot of people buy these as normal dailies, like they, family SUVs? They do. Okay. They absolutely do. And uh, and they love them. Yeah. Obviously, you can live with it every day. Yeah. Uh, it's quiet enough to drive road trips, but if you want to throw it in sport and right yeah. head to the back roads and you know, Moonshine or 28 in, in <laughs> Asheville or something, you have a yeah. blast with it. I think that's a cool thing because I love cars that have a blend of two things mm -hmm. and absolutely this is a luxury SUV that you can drive every day, go to work, come back, go take the kids places, just do whatever you got to do. Load up the ski gear, whatever. Yeah, yeah, with all the drive capability, go snowboarding or something, I'm mm -hmm. totally into that. But then I like how manual mode and sport mode and all of a sudden it's not just another SUV. Right. We're in like a performance Italian SUV that has <laughs> right. some drama and character to it. Exactly, it has character. That's a that's a great word for Maserati. Yeah, and uh, it has a soul. Yeah, and I think the sound also carries that because the sound is a lot. So one last acceleration. <laughs> it makes me smile. Man, an SUV, the guys. This is pretty crazy. And there even is. This isn't even the biggest one. You can get a V8 in it, I mm -hmm. think. Yes. Yeah. The yeah, Trofeo. You can, yeah, or you can go up to 580 horse at least. Wow, that would be nice. <laughs> That's a lot. Yeah. Well, I definitely think you get a lot for it. Uh, fit and finish is really good. I'm really impressed. Everything is covered in leather, like I said. Uh, drives nice. You have the tech now. The screen is beautiful. I'm really, really impressed with that. But hard SUV to argue with, I think you really get a lot. And there's many trim levels. Like, you don't have to get one that's six figures like this one. You can get more of a basic one oh, and yeah. you still get a nice car out of it. Absolutely. So a wonderful car. Like, we just hit that little pop hole, pop hole yeah. there and it just absorbs the bump. And then, yeah. It's comfortable. Even in sport mode, it wasn't back breaking. Yeah. But it's still going to do what I need to do when I want to drive it performance -y, but it still doesn't hitch in the back in sport mode. And then if we take it out, the whole car just tones down. Comment down below, what do you guys think of the Levante and the new tweaks for 2021? It is a fun SUV to drive. <laughs> yeah, and I think I'm going to take the long way back to the dealership if that's okay. Absolutely. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, smash the subscribe button. We'll we see you guys do. next video. Later.